Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stephen the Groot, a Dutch artist. And in this video, we're going to paint this painting by Vincent van Gogh. It's one of the sunflowers. He made several paintings with the sunflowers. But we're going to paint this painting using the Stave Procreate Impressionism brushes. And they're available on my Gumroad. These are 10 Procreate Impressionism brushes. First, I'm going to make a new canvas and I'm going to paint it at a three size at 300 DPI. I already have um, a file ready. And when you look at the canvas information, you see the dimensions are two 190 70 millimeters by 420 millimeters at 300 dpi i've downloaded a picture of the sunflowers i'm first going to import it into procreate so i'm going to press on insert a photo and then i'm going to import the image and it's a little bit smaller. So I'm just using the transform tool to make it a little bit bigger, but I just leave some uh, space on the left and the right because the pictures you see are framed. So there's always some overlapping stuff on the left, right, top and bottom of, uh, of the painting. Now I'm going to canvas and I'm gonna crop this image. So press on crop and resize, and then, you know, you can crop your image. Then press on done. And now you have a crop of the painting. What I'm first going to do is make a sketch because you know, when you zoom in, you can see that he first made a sketch with red and then paint on top of that. So I'm going to lower the opacity on this layer. And I'm first going to draw the outlines just using some brown red. For that, I'm using the Stave Oil Round, and I'm just gonna time-lapse this. It's just tracing the image so that you have a, a base sketch you can work with. So we finished uh, the sketch, and now I have two layers. This is the uh, original painting, which we're not gonna use, and the sketch. Uh, what I'm going to do is duplicate the sketch by swiping from right to left and just to have an extra sketch available we're not going to use the top one but this one and what you can do in procreate is use a reference image when you go to the actions button uh, just press on the branch icon then go to canvas and then choose reference and First, you have the reference of the canvas, but you can also import an image and press on import image and then select the painting. And now you have a reference image inside Procreate. And Van Gogh used to do an underpainting and we're just going to underpaint this sketch so I'm going to create a new layer, drag it underneath. So here's the sketch, I'm just going to name it sketch. And this is going to be the underground. Just going to select the color because in your reference image, you can select the colors by just pressing on the image and then you see the color wheel. We're just first going to do the underpainting. 
And for the underpainting, I'm going to use the Stave Oil Wet, which is a very big brush. And it's also um, a wet brush. And we're just going to fill in the canvas. And just go over the sunflowers because this is the background and this is what Van Gogh used to do before he started painting. Just have a thin layer of a base ground. Gonna use some different tones and you can adjust it. And you know, when you look at the image, it looks like aqua green, but when you check it in your uh, color wheel, it's really green. And just paint it a bit wild just to have an underpainting. And I'm also gonna paint the table the, the face is, is on. And you know, this brush really blends well, but we're not gonna use this brush for the rest of the painting because Van Gogh used to paint with single strokes and he didn't mix his colors that much. And you can also select colors from, from the canvas. And now I'm going to use a different brush because he painted, you know, when you look up close you can really can see the the strokes he made even in the background and this is called impasto so you paint wet and wet i'm going to use the stave zazan brush to do the background this is a brush which is made up from uh, several strokes and it also has some analogous colors these are colors that are close to each other. And it has a bit of a structure, which is great, you know, to paint in uh, the background. And then you can get a little bit more structure into your underpainting. And just paint it in randomly. I'm not, I'm not going to entirely copy this painting. We're just going to paint in the vein of Van Gogh. So I'm first using big strokes and then you can make the brush a little bit smaller and paint in some details. Because this is a flat surface, you know, you cannot create the same impasto effect, but you can use it by using different shades of colors. And sometimes Van Gogh also used his fingers to smear the painting. So he applied a lot of paint and paint it in different directions and you can compare it just zoom out the same as an artist would do he would you know st step back and then view the painting and we're going to do the same because the the table is a little bit lighter here it's a yellow ochre and this is a nice brush, so that's the Stave Cezanne, which is more of a structured brush. 
and that's great for uh, painting in the style of Van Gogh. And the best thing you can do is not smear the paint too much, just leave the strokes. And let the strokes and the color do the work for you. I have another brush and that's my main uh, oil paint brush which is called the Stave Oil Round. It's on top of the, of the Stave Impress brush set. And it's also a wet brush. So when you look up close here, you can see different strokes. It's very light. And with this brush, you know, you could then just lay down the colors and just make single strokes and don't smear it too much. And we're actually going to use this brush a lot to paint the sunflowers. Make it a little bit smaller, to get smaller strokes. And here it's a lot darker. And also use it in the blue background. And sometimes it helps you know to zoom out and just to see the overall painting so up here it's a little bit lighter interesting thing about uh, the colors van gogh used they have faded over time especially the reds so and also when he painted purple he would mix it with red but uh, uh, red paint would fade away so everything that is purple would become blue the Van Gogh Museum has a great site where they explain a lot about uh, the painting style of Van Gogh and also show some images of what the paint would look like because most of them were framed and where they were framed around the, the corners there would be the the true colors of the painting because they weren't affected by the light. Just gonna leave the background. So this is the underpainting. And now I'm going to work on the face. I'm now gonna paint on the sketch layer. And I'm just gonna select the color on the base of the vase. And it is a, lit, a little bit a shade of, of red. And this would probably be a lot more red because this has faded over time. But we're just going to use the colors as they are now. So you can select the colors in the reference image. And I'm going to use the Stave Oil Round. Just zoom in a little. And paint over it. And 
just, you know, randomly. Because when you look at the strokes, you know, he just randomly filled in the face. And with this brush, when you leave it on the canvas, you can smear the paint. But when you want to make a difference, just do single strokes and just let the brush do the work for you. And when you tilt your Apple Pencil, you get bigger strokes. And he really didn't use thick paint in the base of the face. And he sometimes would use his fingers to, you know, smear the paint. He can do the same in Procreate, because there you have the smudge tool next to the brush tool. And there's a little trick in Procreate. If you want to uh, use the smudge or the eraser, you can, um, and with the same brush, just press on the smudge tool for a few seconds and then the same brush is selected. So now I have to stave oil round and I can, you know, smear the paint. So I'm not applying any paint, but I'm just smearing it. Now I'm going to work on the top part of the vase and you can see that he applied single strokes and you really can see the impasto. So still using the same brush and I'm going to select the darkest color. And I'm just going to apply, it's very directional, it's in the direction of the vase. and just apply single strokes. You can also just use your fingers to get uh, more paint onto the canvas. By default, you can paint with your fingers, but I've turned it off. You can go to actions, prefs, and then to gesture, controls and there you can uh, enable painting with fingers so I'm not, not going to paint it with my finger it also helps you know that you don't hear too much of a tapping noise from your Apple Pencil and now you get thicker paint from from this brush, from the Stave Oil Round. I'm first just doing the darkest color. And then after that, I'm going to apply uh, the lighter colors by just using, you know, single strokes. He's even going down here on the right side of the vase. I'm going to select a lighter color and make the brush a little bit smaller. Now you really, you know, get the effect of the single strokes.
and the trick is not to smudge the paint too much just paint with single strokes and just follow the direction of the face it takes a lot of time And here you have a much lighter part. Just gonna use my Apple Pencil again. Also, I have a different brush, which is called the Stave Oil Dry. And that's a real dry brush, which has a bit of a structure to it. We use the Stave Cezanne brush. It's between those brushes that I, you know, paint in an impressionistic style. There's also a little trick if you just using two brushes, you can go way up and then press on recent on the left side of the brush library. And there you can find the last brushes you were working with. So I'm just working with the Stave Oil Round and the Stave Saison and it's better, you know, for switching between these two brushes. An interesting thing is that he also outlines his drawings because this has a, a bit of a red, orange, red outline. Just gonna paint it in. And it's just very you know, fast lines he puts down. This is a little bit too thick. So, I'm just gonna leave the face like this, and now I'm gonna concentrate on the flowers. Now we're just gonna take a closer look to the original painting. And I'm just going to zoom in on the flowers. And you can see that he paints very directional. And you can see the uh, impasto real good. So he used a lot of paint and then he would just apply his brush to it. He also has outlines on his artwork. which is very interesting. And these colors are very muted because the reds used in uh, mixing the, the yellow with red have faded. So the original painting uh, was much brighter. And Van Gogh knew that, you know, the paints he was using, that they would diminish in color. So he applied the colors more vividly. So we're now going to, you know, paint the sunflowers and we're going to try and get that impasto feel to the painting. 
so here I'm back in Procreate. I'm just gonna select a, a base color of one of the sunflowers. And just gonna use the stave oil round. Just to lay down the base color and then going over it with some other colors. And this is very orange, so there's still a lot of red in it, but it's a lot darker in some spots. And sometimes it's better just to eyeball the colors and select the colors from the color wheel. I'm using my Apple Pencil again because with this brush you can, you know, when you apply it lightly, you have smaller strokes. And when you use the tilt function, you have bigger strokes. So just play around with that. You can also use the Stave Cezanne brush. And when you look at this in detail, you can see the direction he is painting in. Some lighter contrast in colors. select colors from the reference image or from your canvas this is a more green muted color so this is very flat and you can see that he you know, applied some there's still some yellow underneath that comes through. It's almost a patchwork of of strokes on the base there's still some red from the sketch underneath There's even a darker color, it's in the shade. So he painted very directional. And sometimes, you know, it would blend a little.
There's even some red in here. And when you're using the stave oil round, when you just leave your Apple Pencil on, on the canvas, you can mix in some paints, because that's happening in this part. I also have another structure brush, and that's the Stave Seurat. And that's a pointillism brush. So you can create points. And when you look at this, it looks a bit like some scattered stuff. But the best way, you know, to paint like this is just using a single brush or the staves is on. Some light yellow strokes. So here's an interesting part, still very red. Also have another brush which is called the Stave Van Gogh Scatter. It's a very big brush. And with it you can create more of a pointillism effect to get a little bit more of a structure into your paints. It also draws outlines There's also some yellow in the bread. You can see that it is really painted fast because he is painting over it. And some yellows and also some olive greens. Here it even has some really dark greens. I 
and it's all very directional. It's all about contrast, but different tones of color. It's always good, you know, to zoom out to see the uh, overall effect. Because in this part, it's missing some structure. And, you know, the same effect you can apply to the rest of the painting. I'm just going to uh, do a little time lapse Otherwise, this tutorial would take uh, two hours or maybe uh, an hour or two hours, and that's a little bit too long. But you, you know, really get the feeling of a Van Gogh uh, painting. It's very directional in his strokes and using a lot of paint, and you can create that impesto feel by just putting down some quick strokes. Don't linger too long on one part. So this is how you can paint like Van Gogh using the Stave Procreate Impressionism brushes. They're available on my Gumroad. I'll leave a link below this video. If you want me to do more videos like this, please let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can subscribe and please don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video, you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!